guys, Coach Ben here, BigBenches.com. And today I'm going to share with you two unique face pull variations that are going to help blow up your upper back. Why do we want a big, strong upper back? Well, when we're talking about bench pressing, that's our platform. That's what the weight is loading into. So if we have a big, strong upper back, we're going to be able to retract into a good arch. Uh, we're going to be able to maintain that position and effectively bench press without uh, being worried about shoulder injury or anything like that. We're going to keep really good engagement with our lat. So we want a big strong upper back. One of the best ways to do that is with a ton of face pulls. The only problem is many times you know, we perform so many of these rope or banded face pulls that we don't really experience um, a great benefit from it at the time because we just get so accustomed to it. So it's always good to try different ways of doing face pulls, switching up the angles, uh, switching up grips. So I'm going to share with you today two that I've been playing around with with great results. First one being the straight bar face pull. All right, with a straight bar, you can place your hands in all kinds of different positions so you can really see what you like to utilize best. But what I like about doing a straight bar is that when you're rowing in, it's almost like a high row turned into an external rotation and you can pair the two very well with a straight bar. So again, you can switch grips very easily and then you're rowing, you're doing a big high row and then at the end you're turning it into somewhat of an external rotation which really helps develop that upper back and you're going to really feel this in your rear delt in ways that you might have not felt before with a rope face pull. Next up is a unique twist on a face pull using the reverse hyper. That's right, using the reverse hyper machine traditionally used for hamstrings and glute development we're going to do that for our upper back and rear delts. And how we're going to do that is you can attach a multitude of straps depending on the reverse hyper you're using. Just clip it on. You could use a rope in this scenario. You can use a straight bar. You could even use just the regular harness strap for your leg. The key here, the ticket here is that because it's swinging on a pendulum, it's going to give us a much different effect than if we just had a straight line path um, with our traditional face pull. So being it that it's on that pendulum type of swing, you're going to get a really different stimulus here that's going to be great for muscle growth. All right. The other important thing in this scenario is that you're keeping the spreads. So whatever implement that you happen to be using, you make sure that you're also keeping some type of outward spread because if you just keep a um, upwards motion here without thinking about the spread, it turns into a little bit too much front delt for my liking. Okay, so try that out. Reverse Hyper, if you have access to one, it's a great thing to use to do your face pulls. So let's develop that upper back. Let's get bench and bigger. Coach Ben here. You know where to find me. You can meet me on a bench. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, you can subscribe to the channel over here. You can check out a video related on the topic over here. And then you can check out our most recent video down below. And then in the description box down below, you can also find links for our membership plan and our online coaching program.